Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'll give you a fundraising update. Now let's go to my page on the Great Cycling Challenge website and let's see what we have. As you can see, I have managed to raise over $400 so far and I'm well on track to achieving my target. So let's keep the momentum going. Click on the donation link below in the description that will take you to my page here and then click on the Donate Now button. Also on this page, you will see my updates, such as all the rides that I'm going to be uh, taking and posting. Uh, and of course, the distance and duration and the speed for each particular ride. And also you can see my sponsors. And special thanks to Lily, Arnie, Anonymous and Lino for providing your contributions so far. They will make a difference in a child's life. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about the rig, um, the bicycle that I'm going to be using for the challenge and also take you on a short ride. And this is the bicycle in question. It is a vintage Le Mans Tourmalet and I believe the production year is 2003 and I have three clues for that one. Number one is the production date of the seat post. The stamp is December 2002 so I'm thinking that was for the 2003 model. Clue number two is when I bought the bicycle the uh, pedals came with the old-fashioned cages where you slide your foot in as opposed to the modern clip-ons. And clue number three, of course, is a Google search where this particular color scheme is more attributed to the 2003 model. Now, it is very well kept bicycle for that age, only minor paint scuffs and stone chips, but other than that, it has been aging well. And what turned out to be a simple replacement of the rim turned out into a hole over hole of the bicycle. So I replaced the rim and the spokes, but then that wasn't matching with the front tire, so I replaced the rim and spokes of the front tire. Then, since the wheels were off, I decided to grease the hubs, and because I greased the hubs, I thought, well, let me grease the pedals and let me grease the steering as well. So now the bicycle is ready for another 20 years of service. Now the bicycle also has a pedigree of cancer runs and one of the previous owner has used it to do the uh, Enbridge ride for cancer back in 2015. And it's, well, and now it's my turn to do the uh, ride for kids cancer. Uh, the bicycle rack is something that I added on later uh, after I bought it and that led to the problems uh, with the rear rim. Um, I was using friction fit earlier uh, when I installed it and that was a wrong uh, thing on my part because uh, the rack was coming down and it was touching the brake caliper and engaging one of the sides and that led to the uh, complete wear off of the brake pad and then the metal was running ag rubbing against metal and that's what damaged the rear rim. Now I have this bracket and even after loading it with 10 kilograms and riding on potholy roads, uh, nothing has moved. So uh, it's pretty good so far. So that is about the bicycle. I just received the bracket that I'm going to be using for the camera. So I'm going to install it and then take you on a short ride. So I just got back from the ride. According to the app, it was 24 kilometers for roughly an hour, which is good. And I got rained on as well. Uh, not too much, but a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the footage. I have a sneaky suspicion that some of it might be lost. Uh, I think the camera recorded certain sections, then went on standby. Uh, then I caught it being on standby, press the record button again. So I'll see what I can use and then include it in the video. In the meantime, 
Make sure to like, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases. Also follow me on all social media channels, consider supporting me on Patreon and definitely support me on the Great Psycho Challenge.